following is sponsored by Wheeler Brader Baltimore. John, it's a beautiful day out here in Cherry Hill, and we're at Safe Streets with Elgin Maith. Yes, Elgin, tell me a little bit about Safe Streets, buddy. Well, Safe Street is a violence prevention program here in Cherry Hill, and what we've been doing through the COVID-19 is we've been passing out masses and encouraging the community people to wear, uh, practice social distancing six feet, wash their hands, and use hand sanitizer. Very good. And who else we got standing here? Troy Brett. My name is Troy Bradley. Uh, to go along with Elder says, Safe Streets is a public health initiative created to uh, reduce homicides and shootings in targeted areas. Uh, we target high risk youth from the ages of 14 to 25, and we employ violence interrupters to de escalate and mediate disputes that may otherwise result in violence. Awesome. And we got beautiful Lauren here. Lauren, step down. Tell me a little bit about it. Hi, good morning. I'm Lauren, the Public Affairs Director here at FACB Health System. We are the community-based organization which oversees Safe Streets, and we are providing care to the Cherry Hill community as well as Brooklyn, ensuring that resources, resources reach the community, and we're providing education about COVID. Well, thank you for doing that. And we got Dante from Willabrader. Dante, tell me how you guys are involved with uh, Safe Jimmy. Streets. At Willabrader, we're thrilled to be making a donation to the Safe Streets Cherry Hill program. Elgin and his team is doing a wonderful job changing how people think about violence and public safety. At Willow Brader, we're so happy that we've been supporting this program and we've uh, collaborated with Safe Streets on community cleanups to, pr to promote uh, cleanliness and safety in this uh, area of the city. Wow, awesome. Thank you, everyone, for all that you do. And you're watching Fox 45, Good Day Baltimore. Great Day Baltimore. <laughs>